Changes coming for real estate agents and whether you're buying or selling, they can be changes that will affect you as well. They start tomorrow. So we want to get all of your questions answered. Tiffany Johannes of Remax Exec Executive is here this morning to break it all down for us. How are you? Doing great, thank you. Glad to have you here. This is something that's been on the horizon for a while, um, but it's something that here you all have been tackling for some time. Yes, we have had buyer agency and really a lot of disclosures and sharing of information all along in both North Carolina and South Carolina. Other parts of the country, not so much. And so we're ahead of the game. That's a good thing. We want to be there. Talk a little bit about, though, the changes that go into effect starting tomorrow for everybody. For everyone, MLS is a multiple listing service, and that's where agents get all of the information on active listings. And that's where we go to do our research. There's not going to be compensation listed there but compensation can still be offered and it's just a negotiated piece which it always has been negotiated and so the seller can agree to offer compensation or not and the buyer will know for sure that real estate agents don't work for free and we are compensated so we just walk through that in terms of that buyer consultation discussion making sure everyone's really clear on how we get paid up front People like to have like a winner and a loser in situations. Is there a winner and a loser here? Is it just more understanding? What is, who it's, benefits most? It's really about being very clear, transparent, and disclosing the cost in a transaction. Mm -hmm. And we help as expert advisors, sellers and buyers every day, realize their dream of home ownership. And so just making sure they clearly understand the cost involved in it and who's paying what along the way. It's such a big purchase for mo for anyone lucky enough to buy a house. It's the biggest thing they'll buy, really. That is true. And one of the groups that we're a little bit concerned about is first-time home buyers mm. and making sure that they completely understand they need that representation so that they know how to handle certain parts of the transaction to ensure that they're being protected. Realtors are protecting homeowners. They're protecting their buyers to make sure that they're navigating that path. Going out and opening the door is one thing, but from contract to close is a huge piece that buyers need that representation. Yeah, I've talked about this. My mom was a realtor and I watched as she would help people and hold their hand through the entire process. And I remember buying my first home and thinking, <laughs> I never could have done this by myself or selling my first home and thinking, I would have missed so many important things. Let's just be super clear about these changes. So let's talk about how the changes affect buyers. So with buyers, if you meet with a realtor, starting tomorrow, you should have a written agreement in place with them and they should disclose what their expectation is on being paid. That doesn't necessarily mean the buyer is going to pay that amount, but that gives the agent the permission to go out and request that from the seller and from the listing firm. And then you talk through that process every time you look at a house as to what the cost might be for the buyer versus the seller. And so making sure you see that written agreement is huge and then compensation you're always going to know how much your realtor is being paid in the transaction as you move through the process and specifically for sellers for sellers they have the option and they always have to pay their listing agent and then give them the opportunity and cooperation to pay a buyer's agent if they want or the seller can pay directly and then we also have the option of seller paid closing costs which can be part of the transaction to help with the buyer costs because buyers do bring the money to the table. Mm -hmm. They have the two to three percent in loan costs typically and that down payment. And so that extra piece is something that we've just got to work through as we navigate forward here. So as you've been making these changes ahead of the required right. date, what have you heard from people? What have you seen from people about uh, how they're feeling about the changes? I think with any change, there's a little bit of conflict or discomfort and it's just growing through it understanding it, being confident, and making sure that buyers completely understand what's happening from start to finish in a real estate transaction. Oftentimes, we try to make it look a lot easier than it is because we want them to feel comfortable and confident in that purchase. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of work behind the scenes, and so we're just going to be continuing to share that. And in North Carolina and South Carolina, we've had that fiduciary to our buyers for years now. I love it. Let's put all the information up on the screen. I know that if you have more questions, and you probably do, especially if you're in the market right now or you're about to be, um, reach out to a realtor. Ask them. They will be able to explain it to you, uh, particularly because, as, as you heard Tiffany say, we, they've, been, they've been doing this here for some time, so they're already in it. Thank you for coming to see us again. Thank you so much.